Well, hello there. You're new to Rock League? No problem, I got you. This is Rock League for Dummies. Now, in this episode, we will just start with the basics. No need to get too deep into it just yet. When loading up Rock League, check out the fresh new rides you got. Out of all of these cars, the Octane is one of the most popular cars since its release date. And there's a real reason for that. You see, as of December 2020, there are actually six different hitboxes, and each hitbox is uniquely different, which can affect your play in the game. Looking at the most popular car in the game, Rocket Science has provided a visual of the hitbox for everyone to look at. This might not seem like nothing to you at first, but this hitbox is what controls how the ball reacts to your car. I decided to hop into free play to show you what I meant by this, and here's a prime example. Here, if we zoom in, you can tell that the ball is balancing on the car, which is aligned with the box. This small little ball here is where the center of the gravity of the car is. Going deep into the hitbox, dimension-wise, the Octane is the tallest hitbox, not including the newest Merc hitbox. This small difference can make or break a single 50-50. It may be hard to believe, but all the cars are broken down into these six hitboxes, meaning that some of the cars that you think are not the same are, like the Roadhog and the Octane for example. The Finnick also has the Octane hitbox. Many pros use the Octane hitbox, while some use the Dominus. When trying to figure out which car you want to use, it comes down to personal preference. Once you have figured out which car you want to use, hop into free play and do whatever you feel like. This is technically a playground for you and your car. Freely do whatever you want. Not only that, the game has very good training packs that you can use to improve your game. Personally, for this first episode, I made a training pack for those who are new to the game. It's fairly small, but it is a start for each player. Now that we completed the basics of the basics, Next episode we will discuss general settings such as control and camera settings. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe. These videos aren't easy to make. Have a great day.